Hi guys, Clay Johnson from Coley Sales. I wanted to talk to you about an Opti sale and some basic adjustments you can make to tune your sale properly. So the first thing that's important is to know what the parts of the sale are called. The top of the sale is called the head. This corner here is called the throat. This corner here is called the tack. This corner here is called the clue. The bottom of the sale is called the foot. The back of the sale is called the leech and the front of the sale is called the luff. Generally speaking, we want a really smooth sail to hold as much wind and be as nice as possible. As it gets windier, we want to tighten the controls to tighten the sail and control the sail. As it gets lighter, we'll loosen the sail to create a bigger pocket and hold more wind to go faster. So there are a few different controls that you can use to adjust. The first and easiest to understand is the outhaul. The outhaul controls the foot of the sail. When you tighten this, you can watch the foot of the sail get tighter and flatter. As you loosen this, you create a very big pocket that can hold more air. The second control is the vang. The vang actually controls the leech of the sail. This is an extreme example, but if you have no vang on at all, the leech of the sail can get really loose. As you put on vang, the leech of the sail can't go up anymore and this stays tighter. A third control for your sail is the sprit. The sprit controls how high the head goes up. If it's too loose, you'll get wrinkles that go diagonally across from the throat to the boom. And if it's too tight, you'll get vertical wrinkles that go up the front of the luff of the sail. Lastly, and this is a tricky one, is called the preventer. So this fourth control is this blue line right here. What happens is if you pull on a lot of vang, your boom goes down. And when your boom goes down, the luff of your sail gets really tight. So we might want some vang on, but we don't want the luff of our sail to get super tight. So what we can do is we can put some preventer on, put this line over the nub, and you can shorten it by twisting the preventer and putting it on the nub. Then when you pull some vang on, the boom goes down, but the front of the boom is prevented from going lower, keeping your luff at the appropriate tension. The most important sail ties to have properly done on your sail are the top ones up there. The top one you want to be parallel to the top of the mast. The diagonal one holds the top one parallel to the mast. If the diagonal one is too tight, you get an awkward bubble down here because it's being pulled down. If the, top one, if the diagonal one is too loose, then the top sail tie can actually be pulled up and over the top of the mast. So that looks pretty good. It's nice and parallel. If you do that, everything else should fall in place. And you can check yourself by making sure that this measurement band falls into this range right here. There are five thick sail ties on your sail, two at the top corner, two at this corner, and one at the back corner. And there are 12 thin sail ties on your sail, six along the boom and six along the mast. We go around twice and we tie a square knot. On the mast ones, you can make it about a credit card width off of your mast. On the boom ones, you want about a pinky width off of the boom. This is so that your sail can flop from side to side when you tack. There are a few different types of sails out there. In an Opti, you'll see cross-cut sails and you'll see radial cut sails. A cross-cut sail is made with the panels that go horizontally across the sail whereas a radial cut sail has panels that usually radiate out of the clue. Cross cut sails tend to breathe a little bit more and self adjust and are probably a little easier to trim for some of the opti sailors in particular, whereas the radial sails require a little bit more precision when adjusting them and when trimming them. I often get asked, what's the best condition to try out a new sail in or how often should I break in a new sail before I use it to race? All sails are made by taking these panels and gluing them together first and then sewing over the seams. So there is gonna be a natural stretching and settling into place once you start using a sail. My recommendation is to use a sail for two or three days in eight, 10 light to medium air to just have it stretch into place and then it should be good to go without any distorting of the sail. If you enjoy this and it helps.